All right, well, time is running out for Congress to act to raise the debt limit so the U.S. can pay the bills for spending that have already been authorized. But partisan fighting has prevented the Senate from taking that step, so now Democrats say they may raise the debt limit on their own. Skylar Henry has more details from Capitol Hill. Democrats are considering the so-called nuclear option to raise the debt limit. Well, I think that's a real possibility. The nuclear option suspends the Senate filibuster, allowing Democrats to pass a bill with a simple majority, as opposed to needing a 60-vote threshold. Senator McConnell is going to rewrite the rules and impose 60-vote requirements on everything that's moving. We're going to have some problems. He knows it, and he obviously relishes it. Democrats will try to move to a vote on the debt limit this afternoon. Mr. Cruz... No. The Republicans say they will use the filibuster again to block the final vote. He continues to waste time with partisan stunts that are dead on arrival. He scheduled yet another vote this afternoon, which he knows will fail. President Biden has asked Congress to raise the debt ceiling before the October 18th deadline, saying every day that passes without it hurts the economy. Senator Joe Manchin, who has opposed suspending the filibuster in the past, wouldn't comment on the possibility now, but did say the U.S. would not default on its loans. Manchin is also at the center of negotiations over the president's multi-trillion dollar social spending bill. He opposed the $3.5 trillion price tag, but he may be open to the president's counter offer of roughly $2 trillion. I'm not ruling anything out, but the bottom line is I want to make sure that we're strategic and do the right job. A new poll shows 57% of those surveyed say they support the social spending bill, even at the higher $3.5 trillion price tag. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now that poll found that even greater support, 62% for the $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill to fix America's road and bridges. 34% of those surveyed say they oppose the infrastructure plan that's in place.